Hi, in this video we will discuss our bucket fill tool. Now our bucket fill tool is the first tool of our paint tools. All the rest here are our paint tools. You can see your paint tools by going to tools, paint tools, and you get to see all your paint tools, some useful keyboard shortcuts, how you can switch in between these tools. Now the first option here mold we see all these different modes now this is rather kind of more advanced topic but I will explain all these modes how they affect your uh, layers images uh, things you need to know about them but I'll do that when we reach to our brush tool because here it will be uh, easily to understand and very quickly to show so for now just know that this is here and we'll get to it uh, also this mode is shared between uh, a lot of our paint tools so it's very important also you have this mode in your layers here we'll get to that too um, let's start with the first option here let's uh, first create a selection here make a new layer transparency and now uh, let's just click on it you see how this selection was filled with black color this is because we have uh, our fill type on foreground color fill you can change that color this is your foreground color this is your background color you can change that color by clicking here and you get this color selection dialog you can choose another color for example blue and we'll click again we fill with that foreground color. Let's undo that. Uh, here you get to choose your opacity. For example, let's say 40%. Let's fill again. You see how this is uh, you know, opaque. It's not visible. If you have this, for example, let's move it for a second. You see how you can see your uh, layer that it's behind that. Let's go back here. You can also fill with your uh, background color, which in this case is white. You can change it, for example, to green. We didn't do that. Let's change it to green. Click here and use our foreground color. Our background color or our foreground color. Now, pattern fill, what that means is we get to uh, fill in the selected area or the whole image uh, with a pattern. If you click here, you get this menu when you can choose your patterns. Uh, GIMP has uh, default patterns here. You can also make your own patterns and save them. Uh, here in this menu, you also like the fonts. You get to see them smaller, bigger, in a list or in a grid. Right now we are seeing them in the grid. You can see them in a list. You can also bring out our patterns dialog here that we have adopted in this tab. Uh, now the next option is fill the whole selection or fill similar colors. We'll get to discuss that in the next video.